Hey YouTube, uh, as you could tell, this is where my 20 gallon long used to be at. I ended up selling that over the weekend. Um, ended up selling the whole setup, except the LED lights. I wanted to keep the LED lights uh, for myself, just in case I wanted to do some other project. Um, what I have here is just the quarantine tank that I had running. Uh, there's nothing in there. I just have the filter running. Um, so, here's just a video of, uh, update on my bigger tank. Um, as you can tell, I have my uh, clownfish from my 20 gallon long. I ended up tossing that in there before I sold it. And uh, just ended up tossing some corals also. Uh, this uh, waving hands, green star polyps, uh, two zoas there. Uh, coral there, a torch, another coral, and these two corals there. Uh, this coral here, don't know the name of it, but it's actually encrusting to the plug fairly well. And um, yeah, this my dry rock is actually becoming a uh, live rock. I'm starting to see cocoa pots all over the place, uh, which is a good thing. Uh, you want that in a system. And, um, yeah, let me just show you the refugium side of it. Um, I ended up getting this small container from Walmart. Um, I ended up filling this container less than half waist with a uh, refugium mud and ended up tossing some macro algae in there. Um, that's actually growing fairly well, actually. Um, it, I had a small little small little portion of this uh, uh, Calerpa, I guess what it's called and it's actually growing like crazy I know I have to be uh, very careful with Calerpa um, I know that it usually just takes over tanks um, I'm actually keeping an eye on, on this uh, this setup here that I have um, I don't want that to go crazy and take over my tank but um here the, on this other side I have my protein skimmer running same one that I had um, that came with the fish tank um, it's doing this thing um, what I don't have on this tank is I don't have my reef keeper light set up I don't have my dosing pumps set up either um, I'm actually going through finals so I'm pretty busy but I want to get that set up over the weekend um, once I'm done with finals so hopefully with that I'm able to start dosing calcium alkalinity and I ended up, I could end up getting some more corals. Um, I don't really trust these uh, LED lights. I don't know for some sort of reason I just feel like these lights are not as strong as the ones that I had. Um, these are more of a China brand um, LED lights that came with the fish tank or that came with this setup. So these are not uh, Cree LED lights like the ones that I had on my 20 gallon lawn. Uh, so I'm going to start off really, uh, really slow with hardy SPS corals because I definitely want to put a lot of SPS corals here. So I'm going to start off with some uh, red montes and, um, and some bird nests, see how, that, uh, how they react to the lights. And if I see them actually doing very, uh, very I'm sorry, uh, if I see them doing uh, really good on the, under these lights, then I'm going to end up putting some more uh, acroporas, um, some other type of SPS there also. Um, but yeah, uh, the key to actually have a reef tank is to do everything uh, everything slow. Um, you don't want to rush into it. Uh, deep sand bed. Uh, it's growing. It's getting there. Uh, I can see some small little tracks that uh, worms have uh, left. Um, cocoa pods. Uh, you can't really see them in the front glass here because I cleaned it like uh, last week. But before I actually cleaned it, it was just full of cocoa pods. Um, I guess since I only have one fish there, they're pretty much just reproducing like crazy. Um, here, just basically small little uh, rubber rock that I had on the tank. Ended up just tossing it there. So yeah, that's about it. Um, if you guys have any questions, just comment 
below and um so I could answer it. But um yeah, that's it. Alright, thanks. Uh till next time. Hopefully I have more uh corals for you guys to see. Thanks.